Principle number three is this. Give with simplicity. Look at Romans 12, verse number 8. Romans 12, verse number 8, the Bible says, Or he that exhorteth on exhortation, and then this, He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. And he that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. But this gift of giving, a person who communicates two needs with resources, he's given some instruction that serves as a basis for a third principle that governs us and guides us in our giving. We should do it with simplicity. Now there are various meanings to that word simplicity. Essentially it comes down to meaning sincerely. Okay, however, you really haven't milked the word and, and from its context taken all of its various shades of meaning and gotten the full benefit of this instruction if you just go get the dictionary as it were definition and run off with it. Pay attention to the context, run the word down through scripture, the simple minded uh, in the Old Testament, the idea of simplicity in the New, put it all together and you, you end up with an idea like this. Yes, sincer sincerity is the essential idea, but it goes past that. It kind of connects to what Jesus said about giving so that your left hand doesn't know what your right hand's doing. Now, we get frustrated when we call some business and we've got business to take care of and it becomes obvious to us that their left hand does not know what their right hand's doing. <laughs> Amen? We get frustrated with them. And we'll even say, man, they, that company, they don't, they, the left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing, right? I mean, we all understand what that means. And yet, when it comes to giving, that's the way it ought to be. That's right. It ought not to be a something that's necessarily so thoroughly controlled and contrived. It needs to be simple. Follow what I'm saying? Simple. It's real simple. There's a need. I have some resources here. Simple. Don't complicate it. Don't complicate it. Sometimes a lack of sincerity in our own spirit will motivate us to complicate our giving. Be careful about that. Now, this, this, and then it, it, it does get complicated because I'm not saying that means you should walk down the street and there's a bum sitting there begging for dimes because he wants to get enough dimes to go buy another bottle of Thunderbird. And that you should be very simple about it and not, not inquire, just say, okay, well, you're here, here. That's not what I'm saying. So you've got to think it through and, and kind of distill this into your own spirit and make whatever corrections might need to be corrected in your own spirit with this exhortation, and it might be different for different ones of us. All right? The fact is, we have a tendency to complicate our benevolent giving, and I don't mean by that being concerned about wasting it on somebody who's not, who, who's not worthy, who's just going to waste it, who's just going to squander it. I mean that sometimes... We can overthink it. We can overthink it. We can get all hung up and, and fail to respond to an immediate need with immediate relief. And sometimes it's important to just get simple about it and respond to immediate need with immediate relief. Now, I almost wish sometimes that I could preach the next, I got a message planned about five messages from now that addresses this in more detail. But just understand that I realize there's more to be said here than I'm saying right now. But get this much right now. Be careful that you don't complicate your giving. And what you said, some of it, no strings attached. Yes. Sometimes we tend to attach, make attachments to our giving. Well, we don't mean to perhaps, but that is what it ends up doing. And we got to be careful about that. And I get into that some more in the fourth principle. But all these principles interlace in such a way. It is difficult to talk about one without bringing up something that relates to the other so, because they're all interconnected.